Now, in the clinics, the way that I was taught to teach them and the way that Ra taught them is that it's about general information as a theory and then the client-specific information according to your design. Now, on this slide, this is direct from IHDS, it says it's the teaser for the real process. Personally, for me, I don't like just a teaser. I want to make sure that you get as much benefit as possible from the progress process and that we do it in a small group clinic because this is what I found works best for me. So I bring the quote unquote real process in as in dive into the deeper layers and don't just stay on the surface of the substructure. Okay, so actually applying or implementing the information, talking about the biological signposts or significance of this or that. And you are going to get very specific information about your chart, but this is not a certification process. It takes two and a half years above and beyond your analyst training at minimum to get this level of depth and detail. So just to let you know, it's not about taking this and going and running your own courses in the four transformations. Now, there's four different main steps, and we're dealing with the things that are underneath the substructure of the line. This is the substructure. When a neutrino stream enters into a crystal of consciousness, and we are dealing here with the unconscious crystal of consciousness, your body's crystal in the ajna, and the conscious personality crystal of consciousness, your mind or soul's imprint that is in the head center. Those two are uniquely shaped. In fact, every single one of us, our crystals of consciousness, are uniquely shaped. Therefore, a singular neutrino stream entering into the crystal at the base is going to show up differently in, in the internal structure, which is the tone, the inner frequency. And then, because of all of that, it's going to exit at a different level. Now, exit, color frequency, exit frequency, is where a lot of things shift. And you're going to learn through this program how your body and your mind, its consistency and congruency of how it operates, will either shift, transfer, or get distracted to a certain this or that, depending on whether or not you're operating in alignment. So that we begin with the thing that gets transferred first or distracted first or moved incorrectly first. And that is not to say that it's bad or wrong, but it's to help you identify the signposts, big red flashing stop sign, stop light that says, hey, something's up, something's going on here. And then we go into what it might show up like for you when you are correctly seeing or motivated to action. And that's the really cool thing about how this system is so precise and gives us profound advice into the uniqueness of our designs. So in these four steps, each of the four steps has a different way that we're going to approach it and have time between those four steps to experiment and then come back and share what we learned. That's why these classes are very, very small. They're only an hour. So in the first piece, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory or an overview of what we're going to do today. And then we'll work with charts and we'll check in and see what you would like to share, what's working, what's not working, and if there's anything that you need to ask with regards to your specific design.